Organizations like the Israeli Mossad have great capabilities and could very well make sure that Putin is no more, Russian political commentator Yevgeny Kiselyov reported. At the same time, the journalist added that they will not be allowed to do this since Western politicians are afraid that someone worse could come to power in the Russian Federation to replace Putin. The political commentator explained why those who have the ability to eliminate Putin have not done so yet. I believe that the Israeli intelligence service Mossad is capable of much, but then big politics begins and I suspect that it is not in the interests of Israel and not in the interests of many other countries. No matter how much someone would like it, no one will engage in such projects. I think that in fact this topic has already been analyzed many times and the conclusion has been reached that it is better not to. Why? This is another question. There is an assumption that one of the main reasons why the West is providing insufficient assistance to Ukraine is the fear that in the event of a military defeat or a series of painful failures, the Putin regime will begin to crumble and some scumbag, ten times worse than Putin, will come to power, explained Yevgeny Kiselyov. Earlier, Yevgeny Kiselyov said that Putin's elite is a source of threat to Putin. Believe me, all these people, at least many of those who are on various proscription lists in the West, are under sanctions, are afraid of being sanctioned or have simply kept their mouths shut. They hate Putin, Yevgeny Kiselyov said. I continue to periodically have the pleasure of communicating with these people and I see that the level of hatred towards Putin, even among those who formerly do not participate in anything and do not express any protests, is gradually increasing, Kiselyov noted. Naturally, this gives hope that at some point the lid of the cauldron will be blown off. At the same time, the journalist emphasized that we may have to wait a very long time until the patience of Russians finally runs out. Sometimes, looking at what is happening in Russia, I think, what kind of super strong steel is this boiler made of and where is the limit of the patience of an ordinary citizen who is constantly deprived of something and forced to eat the completely inedible chewing gum of Russian propaganda? Alas, I may not be able to understand this, Kiselyov said. Russia launched new strikes in the Ukrainian city of Zaporizhia, leaving one dead and six wounded, including two children, authorities said Tuesday morning. Emergency workers worked in the dark to clear debris and extinguish fires early Tuesday. It was the second consecutive night glide bomb attack on Zaporizhia, damaging residential buildings and critical infrastructure according to local authorities. Governor of Zaporizhia Oblast Ivan Fedorov said Monday's attack was the first time glide bombs targeted the city since the war began. Protesters gathered in the Ukrainian capital of Kiev on Sunday in a show of solidarity for the plight of Ukrainian Azovstal defenders still being held prisoner by the Russians. Taking place outside the Expo Center of Ukraine VDNG, the Free Azov rally supporters brought along signs with calls to action and messages of support, such as, Freedom to Azov and, Russian Captivity Kills. Former Azov prisoners of war Anatoly Mikheyev and Dmitro Kozatsky attended the rally and thanked Ukrainians for their ongoing show of solidarity for soldiers still being held captive. Every week, thousands of people gather in various cities across Ukraine and around the world so that when Ukrainian prisoners of war are brought home, 
they can see that people have been advocating for them and remembering them every week, doing everything possible to fight for them," said Kozatsky. Мій син в полоні з 18 травня 22 року. Він боєць полку Азов. Азовці першими стали на захист нашої країни. Першими прийняли на себе бій. Першими тримали орків на собі. Були під градами. Їх бомбили. Вони були на Азовсталі. Але вони стояли стійко. Вони захищали свої родини, свою країну. Сьогодні, скажімо так, знаменний день. Сьогодні має день народження. Мені 20 років і вже своє друге день народження я зустріла без свого тата. Він 14 місяць в полоні і кожна акція для мене дійсно має значення. Я відчуваю підтримку, оточення. Я відчуваю, що я не сама, що є люди, які підтримують, що, які чекають так само, як я. І... Знаєте, дає таке якесь, не знаю, натхнення.